What's the deal, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Cultivated Minds, and today we're going to be talking about discernment between the higher and lower self. You know, I think a lot of times, I'm sure for all of us, uh, there's been a time in our life where we couldn't really, you know, discern between if this is us acting on our higher or us acting on our lower self. Just want to give you guys a few examples. So, with our lower selves, that's our animalistic nature. You know, that's the person who is still in caveman mode. You know, everything is about survival and the now. They can't really think too much far out and they're not too worried about long term things. Everything is short term and they need it now. The higher self, the higher conscious, you know, that is the one that, you know, understands that once they put out the manifestation, it's already out there, it's gonna come to them. You know, they live in abundance. They already know that things are gonna come. They're not too worried about the how, the when, and why. They don't feel the need to always be in survival. You know what I'm saying? So let's give an example. So the lower self, let's say this. Let's say that you come back home from a long day of work, or you know, maybe you came back from whatever you're doing all day that you know might have drained you a little bit. And you're sitting there like, man, maybe I shouldn't go to the gym. You know, I should eat this bag of chips and watch this TV real quick. So your lower self is gonna agree. Yeah, you should. You should sit there. You shouldn't focus on your goals that you wrote today. You know, you shouldn't go to the gym. You shouldn't work out. You should sit here and watch Netflix and eat these chips. But your higher self is gonna tell you, no, you can do that. You still got some energy left. You know, set your mind to that. Go ahead, go to the gym. You know, get in that work real quick. Get in just, you know, cool 30 minutes, hour, whatever the case is, you know, just get that good push in, you know. Go ahead, you got this. Your, your higher self is gonna speak kindly to you, you know. It's gonna tell you, like, you should go do that now, you know. A lot of times we're inclined already to be like, nah, you shouldn't do that. That's our, that's your lower self. That, 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 like I said, that animalistic nature. That's deep rooted in most of us. Another example, let's say that, you know, you walk in somewhere, right? And somebody, you know, bumps into you and don't really say nothing. They just keep walking. Our lower self is already quick to, you know, run up to them like, what you what you bump into me for? But you got a problem? Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's the first thing our lower self is gonna wanna do. They gonna wanna react. You know, a lot of times we may not think this, we may, but, people are controlling our actions when we're always reacting so you know your lower self is going to react to the situation your higher self is probably going to look and be like <laughs> you have a good one big dog or you have a good day <laughs> you know what i'm saying because you're going to realize this person is still stuck in their own you know mental blockages or whatever they're going through or a lot of times you're going to just know it has so much more to do with them than to do with you. So you're going <laughs> to brush it off. That's every day dealing with your higher and lower. So that's every day what you're going to have to deal with. Those type of situations, being able to discern between the two. <clears throat> Our lower self is going to, let's say that we got a, a partnership between you and your family or you and your friends. Your lower self is going to be greedy. Let's say y'all made some money together and you see a big chunk that nobody else sees that you can take for yourself. That's greed, that's acting on that lower, you know, that lower mentality. But the higher self is gonna be like, you know, we gonna share, we live in abundance. I can share the wealth, you know, I can share what we got, I can share this information, this game. There's no competition in my world. I'm not trying to survive. I'm not trying to, you know, be like, oh, so much better than my friends and stuff like that. You know, I'm trying to give all the information because we all live in abundance. You get what I'm saying? Because you're the core of that, you know. You you are the manifestation of that positive energy. You know, you are everything that you think you are. So when you carrying yourself with respect and, you know, positivity and a conscious being, people in your presence, they not going to come at you no type of way. I'm not saying that, you know, you can never have a situation, but for the most part, they're not really coming. They going because it's in your presence. Maybe behind closed doors, some they might say something, but in your presence, they really they don't. You don't have that demeanor to where they're gonna put it out. But when you walking around angry or sad or you know with your head down or like a tough guy or you know for females trying to be tough, you know that's the kind of energy you most likely gonna get reciprocated to. You know somebody else trying to be the same exact way. But you know we putting out 
the energy of actually you know our higher self we don't really have to deal with those kind of things as often you get you get what i'm saying and you know another example let's say with your lower self let's say you out to eat and the waitresses or the waiter whatever the case is you know they're saying something or they're kind of acting you know out of character in your opinion or you feel like they're being disrespectful you know your lower self is always you know gonna be quick to just focus on them put all your energy oh i don't really like this person yada yada but your higher self knows that i can change the frequency of this person in this situation if i continue like oh yes please i appreciate you thank you so much you know how's your day going today and you keep trying to talk to you putting out the energy it's genuine you know that person ain't gonna help but they gonna adjust to that frequency because it's kind of like for the most part why would they put out the opposite when it's like damn this person just been too solid with me you know they might even apologize towards the end i'm not saying that a person they they possibly still could have that same energy but it's rare guaranteed it's rare and here's my disclaimer i'm not saying to let anybody disrespect you by any means at all you know what i'm saying you know stand your own stand your ground certain situation but what i'm getting at is you know the lower self is usually reacting they're being controlled by somebody else or by our egotistical desires or what we feel like society says is correct we, you know what's socially um acceptable or what we feel like other people are going to see if, if they see this or look at us our higher self knows that it lives in abundance its cup is full it's never empty and it knows that all the opportunities and everything is already out there as long as we put the manifest that manifestation out there it shows more gratitude and it just it lives a more full life it's not too much worried about all the things that you know in the material material world that we feel like you know was right or what people are telling you is right it lives in its inner being it's listening to its real self its true self you know but that's all i really had to say you guys just trying to get you guys to think um go ahead and you know drop some comments build me you guys let me know uh, your thoughts on this this cultivated minds and i'm signing out